Do you know how to pray? Even the disciples said to Jesus, teach us how to pray. Join me today as I look at different elements of prayer and learn how you can grow in this area. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Ephesians 6.18 says, You must pray at all times as the Holy Spirit leads you to pray. Pray for the things that are needed. You must watch and keep on praying. Remember to pray for all Christians. The simplest definition of prayer is communication. One of the things prayer does is it develops our relationship with God. It creates an intimacy with God. If I can just explain something. In the Old Testament, what happened was there used to be the temple and in the temple was a place called the Holy of Holies and there was a curtain that separated the Holy of Holies from the rest of the temple. Only a priest could go into the Holy of Holies and only at a certain specific time could the priest go in there. He would perform ceremonies and cleansing rituals and everything just to be able to walk into the Holy of Holies and what they would do is they would put bells at the bottom of the priest's robes and a rope around his leg before he went in and if he went in and they didn't hear the bells any longer then they know that he was struck dead there must have been some sin in his life and he would be struck down dead and they would pull him out with this rope by his foot but now what happened was when Jesus died on the cross in the temple that curtain was torn from the top right to the bottom and that is a symbolism of now today anyone can come before God's throne of grace. That is so powerful. We are living in such a fantastic era. We could have been born in the Old Testament and not even had the privilege to come before God before His throne of grace. But now, being in the New Testament, we can actually enter into the Holy of Holies. Hebrews 4.16 So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Let's go through a few elements of prayer. One of the elements of prayer is thanksgiving. We come before God with thanksgiving. We thank Him for the things that He's done in our life, for the blessings that He's bestowed upon us, and that will be part of our prayer. Whenever I start praying, I like to thank God for something before I even get, get started. You know, prayer is not a shopping list. We're cultivating a relationship. We're communicating with our God. And you will notice that God will speak to you as well. If it's not in your prayer session, He will speak to you during the day. Because His promise is, as you draw close to me, I will draw close to you. Okay, another element of, of prayer is adoration. Enjoy God when you talk to Him. Remember, it's a relationship. It's like a husband and a wife. You develop that relationship. You enjoy each other. Another element is confession. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will bring something up that you've done wrong and you can go before Him and you can say, please forgive me. Can you forgive me? And He's faithful and just and He will forgive you. You could also in your prayer time say, Lord, I want to draw closer to you. I want to be closer to you. I want to develop our relationship. Is there anything that is not right in my life? and He will be faithful to show you if there is anything. Another element of prayer is supplication. This is where we have our requests, our problems, our issues before the Lord and we pray through them. Remember it says, ask and you shall receive, knock and the door will be opened, seek and you shall find. It also says you do not receive because you do not ask. We go before the Lord and we ask Him to intervene into situations and into circumstances. Philippians 6 verse 7 says, Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank Him for all that He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Jesus Christ. And it's so fantastic that once you pray and once you've laid these things before the Lord and you're trusting that He's dealing with these things, there's a peace that comes, a peace that passes all understanding. The last element of prayer that I want to talk to you about is submission. So we know that when we pray, we submit to the will of God. Even Jesus, when He was in the Garden of Gethsemane and He was praying, He was saying, Lord, not my will, but Your will be done. So there is an element of submitting. Seek first the Kingdom of God and all these other things 
things will be given unto you. So you submit your will to God. Remember that God is for us. He's not against us. God is a good God. God works every situation to try and turn it around to bring good out of every situation. All the trials and tribulations, it doesn't mean God's brought those into your life, but He will use every circumstance to bring good out of it. He's a good God and He's for you. And when you pray, you can know that He's working behind the scenes to change the circumstances to bring about what is right. Get into a habit of developing prayer in your life. Remember, the Holy Spirit will help you to pray. He is our helper. He is our counselor. Develop your sensitivity to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And I've got a whole other video that talks about hearing God's voice, where I go through 10 ways of hearing God. If you're battling with hearing God's voice, then go to that video and go through that video. That's a wrap for today. Join me for part two, where we're going to look at how to be more effective in prayer and points to consider when communicating with God. Till next time.